Hello people, this is Budridge. It's a new video. Sublime Text Good Packs 2 Eye Opener. I had to change the uh, name here from Essential Packages to Good Packs 2 because I wanted to fit it in this large font in this terminal. Who cares, right? Who cares? Um, and the package of the day is Eye Opener. And this is also very, very essential uh, in my opinion. Let's uh, take a look at it. Here I have opened package control as uh, homepage package control.io. Search for eye opener uh, with a lowercase i in the name here. It doesn't matter when you search, but whatever. Uh, and this uh, have the small little feature that it will help you open files from within Sublime instead of yeah. Let's open Sublime here quickly. Uh, if I hit Control O, that will bring up this normal uh, open file dialog window. Uh, but if you install this um, package, you will, instead of opening that dialog window, it will just open this little prompt thing where you can uh, uh, enter the, the path uh, to the file you want to open uh, from here. And it have a tab auto completion. It's a case insensitive. It's also have some fuzzy matching, so you don't even have to spell the things right. It's very, very good. And one of the best features that is almost hidden, and I don't know why, the, the, this uh, package is a bit of an underdog. It's, it's not super popular. There's, there's one package called File Advanced New File or something. But in my opinion, this is much better because you can also create files with this package. And you can add folders to projects and stuff, and it's it's really 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 cool, and it's so simple. It just uh, adds this single functionality. Control O will now do this instead. So let's install this. Control Shift P, open command palette, install package, search for eye opener, hit enter. Wait a second. You can see the status bar. Bing, bing, bing. There, it's installed. Uh, and now, if I hit Control O, it brings up this instead. And uh, I can press Tab to get a tab completion. And if there are multiple uh, options, then you get the, can can choose from the command palette what you want to open. Let's open default Sublime commands here, whatever. And it always um, open uh, have the the currently the files that are currently open, the directory it resides in as uh, pre-filled in here. But this is also really good because you can go outside of your project uh, with this. For example, I can go to my i3 directory here and choose a file from there. E easy with this. And this is really, really, really good. Let's see here. Let's extract it as we always do. Um, Package packed. There we have eye opener. Extract this package, and we can see it here. Uh, we have the default Linux key map. Only contains this Control O and this Control Shift O. This is the normal. If I hit that Control Shift O, that brings up the normal uh, open file dialog. If you ever would like to use that. These are special keys to, to uh, enable tab completion in a good way. Um, we have a setting file here. And this setting file is, uh, there is a setting I really recommend you uh, adding here. Uh, open folders in new window. True. This means that if I don't select a file and select a f folder or directory instead. Let's take Sublime Text 3 here. Enter. Now that will open a new window with the, the Sublime Text 3 as a project here. This uh, uh, can be nice, maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but I like to set this to false and what will happen now instead is if I select the Sublime Text 3 directory again here, enter, it will add that directory to the current uh, project. So this is a very, very uh, easy way to add uh, more more directories to, to your current project. Really, really nice in my opinion. Mm. And I think that is what I will show you about this here. Uh, maybe we can also create a file just to show you how that looks like. Uh, we can go to our user directory here. Um, Control O and then 
a file dot html whatever and it creates an empty file we don't see it here yet because it's not it doesn't really exist it just exists in, you know, whatever you hit control s to save it and then it's created so this is a very good way to create files and you can also create directories with it so directory one 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 slash test dot md and then it will prompt you hey this directory doesn't exist do you want to create it yeah man okay and there it creates the directory save and then you also have the file so this is a very very fast way to create uh, files and folders within sublime without ever have, having to leave the window all from the keyboard great package eye opener highly recommended and underrated in my opinion and uh, as, as, as we always do here, or always do, but I like to add uh, all package settings, you know, cl clear the default setting and add it to this uh, settings uh, location instead. Whoops, I can easily do so by going to preferences, package settings, eye opener, settings, uh, user. Uh, and then you can click save, that will create, that's a uh, user setting file here now, eye opener sublime settings you can also see eye-opener history here which contains a history of all open files and this means also that you can control o and then up and down to to, to search recently open files with this uh, command it's incredible great great package um, what i wanted to do was to copy or even cut all all of these default settings to the user settings instead so we have everything where we want it to and here you can also set case sensitive and, and uh, use project directory um, uh, uh, ah okay if I set this to true will it use I don't know I'm I think it's supposed to, to use the project directory, but since we don't really have a project directory, we have many different directories inside our project, so I, I, I don't know how this works really, and I never use it. But set this guy to false. Uh, we'll add all this to the show notes that you can find on the GitHub repository that is called Budlime YouTube. Here you can find all the videos uh, um, and the show notes for them. Here from the last video, the package uh, project manager video. Mm. You can also here. Uh, I will not show go into details about this now, but I will maybe make a video right after this one because I made some some modifications to make this eye opener even better when creating uh, projects. Where is it now? There. I. Uh, we can see it here in Sublime uh, because when we extract the package here we have iopener.py op and this is uh, more or less uh, the whole source code for this uh, package it's written in Python not that difficult to understand and uh, make small modifications to it and I actually did modify this and this is a cool thing you know if you extract a package you can uh, modify uh, the Python files also and they will also then uh, this Python file will, will have priority over the packed ver version that uh, uh, is located uh, here, you know. So I made a small modification to it here. Uh, this mod will create a new project if the workspace is clean and the directory is chosen. But I think I will make a separate video about this uh, hack. But eye-opener, great package install it, have fun, have a great day, bye bye bye.